Hi, I'm Tam. I'm a bike mechanic for Go Outdoors. I'm going to show you how to unbox and build your bike. First, you gotta get in it. So the bike is all nice and neat in there. Sometimes it takes a wiggle to get it out. So once you've got your bike out, make sure you remove everything from the box. So the seat, you'll find a box of parts, put these aside because you'll need them. So when I cut the cable ties off, I usually cut them very close so I can actually reuse the most of the cable tie as I possibly can, like so. And I'm also going to save as much as the packaging as I possibly can. Um, so like these foam noodles, they're great for when you're transporting your bike in your car or in your van. Okay, so I am going to twist the stem around and put the handlebars on. I'm going to need a Foreman Allen key, but just going to twist it around. I'm not going to do up the bolts. I always do that up last, so I know this is where I finish. But I am going to take these bolts out so I can put the handlebars in. All right, so you get your bars and make sure they are the right way around. So you see all the cables just fall nicely into place. And then just get a couple of bolts going. After I've got some of the bolts in, I can position my handlebars to where I want them to sit, roughly. And then when I'm doing up the bolts, I want to make sure I'm doing them up diagonally so I evenly distribute the force. While doing that, I like keep checking with my finger, but you can look as well to make sure that there's a, the same distance here and at the bottom as well. So if you have a torque wrench, I'd recommend using it. And on this bike, you can find the torque settings just underneath the stem or here for the corresponding bolts. So just going to put this cable neat and tidy pinch it onto the fork. Sometimes the caliper is not attached to the bike so you want to make sure that the hose runs on the inside of the fork like here rather than on the outside. When doing this bolt up you really don't need to tighten it up too much because you will round off the bolt. So now just going to get this cable guide off. Just be gentle not to damage the frame. Pop your cable in and then pop it back to place, nice and neat. So before inserting your seat post, you want to put a little bit of grease in the seat tube. Um, so I usually go in and put it inside the seat tube because then it's less mess. Then we go grab our seat post. Also make sure you have loosened your quick release off before you insert it. So what I usually do is I put a little bit of grease just here into the clamp. This is especially good in the winter because it will not work as well and it can result in you bending the quick release arm. So once I've done that, do it up. And just make sure the seat doesn't move. And we are go. So the box of bits that we pulled out earlier have the pedals in, reflectors and bells, and the quick release for the front wheel, and also the manuals. We're just gonna go and undo the quick release. We're just going to go ahead and put a little bit of grease on the threads just so it doesn't seize in there. Grab the front wheel, take the disc protector off the other side as well. Actually, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> remove it by pushing the axle through. 
so we're just going to put our spring on, making sure the wider bit is facing outwards. Put the end of the QR on, screw it on, and it's ready to go in the bike. So before you put your front wheel in, because this is a hydraulic disc brake, you'll need to remove the spacer. But hold on to this, because this will come in handy when you're traveling with your bike. And now we're just going to insert the front wheel. Also, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that the, the wheel's in straight so there's equal distance on each side. So when putting the pedals on, I always like to double check which side is which. I mean, these ones do come with the stickers on it, so you've got your right and your left. But there's a couple of other ways to tell which pedal goes on which side. So you can look at the threads. So on the right one, it will slightly go up towards the right and the left one it will slightly go up towards the left. And also another way to tell is the left pedal will always have some kind of markings on it. So this one's got the little lines and this one hasn't got the little lines. On this one you also got the left and right where you put the Allen key. So when installing your pedals, it's important to put a little bit of grease onto the threads so they won't seize in if you need to remove or replace your pedals. So the way I install my pedals is I put my Allen key through the hole, then I line up the pedal and then that way there's no resistance and it's going in nicely. Make sure it's nice and tight. You put some leverage on it and then your pedal is on. So lining up your handlebars can be a bit tricky. I usually do it from this angle, you can do it from the other way. Just make sure it's in line. When I feel like it is, I'll just tighten up the bolt. And with these bolts as well, don't over tighten one and then do the other. Just sort of do a little bit on the top bolt, do a little bit on the bottom bolt, so they're tightened up evenly. So now it's time to pump up your tires. Usually you can find out your recommended PSI on the side of your tyres. On this one it's 40 to 65. So we're just going to go somewhere in the middle and put 50 in. So the final touch to building your bike is to take the sticker off. This is super satisfying. Before you take your bike out to the trails to ride, make sure you give it a quick M check to make sure it's safe. If in doubt, go see a mechanic in the store. To do an M check, we're going to start at the front of the bike and then move through in the shape of an M, checking all the nuts and bolts, make sure everything is tight and safe. So first of all, we're going to make sure that the QR is tight and then afterwards, we're going to use our 5 mil Allen key to make sure that these bolts are also tight. So just moving on to the steerer bolts, make sure they're nice and tight. And then we're going to move on to the stem, the levers, make sure that they're tight. The last bit to check is the rear. We're just going to make sure that the QR is in there securely, first of all, and then we'll get our Allen key and make sure these bolts are nice and tight. Moving on to the other side, make sure your derailleur is on there tight. Check that the bolts, the cables on there tight as well. So moving on to the middle of the bike, we're just going to remove the caps. We can get to the bolt so we can tighten the cranks. So for this, you'll need a socket. Yep, then the other side. Perfect, nice and tight. If you've got the space, it's a good idea to keep hold of your box because you can use it to transport your bike around with you. And that's it, your bike is built and ready to take on the trails.